Did you know that our excessive use of antibiotics is causing bacteria to mutate, adapt, and develop resistance to these modern medicines? Keep watching and I'll explain how we have managed infections caused by bacteria in the past and why we may not be able to innovate our way out of the coming public health crisis. My name is Pavan, and this episode we review Biographies of Resistance by Muhammad Zaman. We trust Muhammad because he is currently a professor of biomedical engineering and international health at Boston University, where he runs his own lab. He has made academic and professional contributions to the most prestigious academic journals, and his popular writing has appeared in numerous publications. This book tells the story of the historical competition between our medical and scientific community to discover and develop life-saving drugs in the face of the evolutionary imperative of bacteria to mutate and survive and eventually infect human beings. However, we may be heading towards catastrophe as bacteria are transforming in a manner that makes our current crop of antibiotics ineffective and we may not be able to stay ahead of the curve. Through the work of inspired and driven researchers and doctors, we have taken on and eradicated many diseases that used to be deadly, but we may not be so fortunate in the future. While the past gives us a historical roadmap for disease control, our current situation could be different as better science or medicine may not eradicate harmful bacteria. Bacteria that affect our human bodies have a chance to move and mutate in a way that they never have before, as our world is so much more connected geographically, and the speed with which we interact with each other is so much more fast-paced. The book describes how these global conditions will not just impact places that have poor economic conditions or deficient health infrastructure, but will affect the whole world with drug-resistant infections. The book describes the shift in our understanding of bacteria that occurred during the scientific revolution that took place in Europe beginning in the 17th century. Germ theory began to take hold and is still prevalent today as it allows us to trace diseases based on specific bacteria and devise treatments based on science. The assumption was that bacteria mutate and develop resistance to antibiotics they come in contact with leading to the perception that our excessive use of medicine was causing certain bacteria to develop defense mechanisms. However, the book presents new evidence that shows bacteria becoming naturally resistant to modern pharmaceuticals, which is scary because that means that it is not simply our ubiquitous use of antibiotics that can cause pathogens to spread. A consistent thread that ties the book together is the difficulty caused by corporations pursuing science innovation based on the hunt for greater profits. The chase for economic returns, combined with government regulators siding with these firms, led to corruption as there was many cover-ups of faulty medicine. In addition, the book profiles many brilliant but problematic scientists and researchers who engaged in questionable behavior because they were motivated by greed and personal fame. The author reveals how the antibiotics themselves are becoming less potent as companies are looking to cut corners by reducing costs and boosting revenues. This short-term business operation by pharmaceutical companies disproportionately affects poor people as the only drugs they can now afford are substandard, filled with impurities, and generally not effective. Industrial pollution is making bacteria stronger, and these germs are increasingly coming into closer contact with humans, particularly those same poor people, and governments are more concerned with negative press and playing politics rather than public health. The author concludes on a possible bright note with the growing realization that we need to view antibiotics as a limited precious resource and act accordingly. Our world is interconnected and the solutions to this pressing issue must come from a deeper global collaboration between countries and national governments, the pharmaceutical and biotechnology industries, and the medical field. Bacteria becoming increasingly resistant to antibiotics is a scary proposition, but we can overcome this challenge through solutions that come from a combination of science with advocacy and innovation with policy.